Um, we're here today working with the Cornell students installing our Optimus Vector system. Um, that allows the uh, John Deere tractor to run 100% biodiesel year-round, no matter what the climate is. The biodiesel engine project task force. There's five of us, me, Lawrence, Greg, Sai, and Ian. The problem with biodiesel is that it solidifies at cold temperatures, which is a problem in Ithaca winters. So we need to attach a system that will be able to heat up this biodiesel before it enters the engine. So solidification won't be a problem. Yesterday we installed this vector system. What the vector system does is it regulates whether or not the tractor is using either diesel or biodiesel. So there's a valve inside that switches between diesel and biodiesel. And so what we're trying to do is we're setting up a portable emissions monitoring system on the tailpipe. That way we can compare the emissions from the tractor running on diesel to the emissions from the tractor running on biodiesel. Um, the tailpipe, we're setting a pipe series so that it can go into, like, uh, and go into an emission monitoring system in the very back of it. So it's happy. It's, it's finally nice to see this actually happen. They're running a soy-based biodiesel, a bit of a cost savings, the same level of efficiency as diesel. So if you can imagine uh, 60 to 70 percent less particulate matter, you have a lot of soot with diesel, so a lot of black smoke, a lot of gray smoke. Uh, with biodiesel, it comes out clear or a slight white, and the smell of it is a bit different as well. It's not as offensive. It kind of smells like a, fr a fryer at a you know, McDonald's or something like that, so um, all these are great benefits in running the fuel.